Welcome to the Sage Pastel Accounting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to view and update open batches in Sage Pastel Accounting. An open batch is a batch that has not yet been updated to the general ledger chart of accounts. You may wish to review these batches before updating them, or alternatively, you may be trying to run a specific utility or assistant and have received a message that open batches exist and that the utility or assistant cannot continue until these batches have been updated. In order to view open batches in Sage Pastel Accounting, open your Sage Pastel Accounting program and company data set. Click on View, Open Batches. If you are running Sage Pastel Accounting version 14, build 1414, version 17 or version 18, you may receive a message that open batches exist without users. The user currently being displayed does not exist within the company data set. You now have the option of moving the batch from the missing user to the currently logged in user, or you can go and manually create the missing user in order to access the batch. If you wish to move the batch from the missing user to the currently logged in user, you would click yes on the message. If however, you wish to manually create the missing user, you would click on no, Click on Setup, Users and Passwords, Users. Select the same user that it advises is missing and fill in all the necessary information. Once you have made your selection, the Open Batches screen will display. Your entry types will show on the left hand side and ticks will appear under the users that have batches for the entry types that display. Please note that if you are running a specific utility or assistant, and you see the entry type, quotation, sales orders, or purchase orders. These entry types will not stop any utility or assistant from running. Any other entry type, however, will need to be updated accordingly. If you need to update journal or cash book entry types, you would select the tick next to the relevant entry type, and then click on Jump To. You would be taken to the entry type that was selected. You can then view the batch and make any necessary changes to the batch before you update it. You can also choose whether you wish to delete an individual line or to delete the entire batch. If you delete a journal or a cash book batch, you would not need to update the batch. However, to update the batch to the general ledger chart of accounts, you would select update and to update the batch accordingly. Once you have updated the batch, it will write to the general ledger chart of accounts. If you then go back to your open batches screen, you will see that the entry type will disappear. Customer and supplier documents, however, work differently. Again, select the relevant document entry type and click on the tick. You will be taken to either the customer or supplier document entry type you selected. In order to view all the documents in the batch, where you see number, click on the magnifying glass. The documents will display that make up the batch. To view the individual lines on the documents, you would double click the document and press tab on your keyboard. You can then edit the individual lines. You can also choose whether you wish to delete the document or place the document on hold. Once you have made all the necessary changes, you can click on next. If the print and email screen displays, you will need to decide whether you wish to print or email the documents and follow the prompts accordingly. Once you have checked each and every document, you will then need to decide what you wish to do with the batch. Do you wish to place the batch on hold? Do you wish to delete the batch or do you wish to update the batch? If you wish to place any customer or supplier updatable documents on hold, Please watch the video, How to Use the Unhold Assistant. If you choose the option to delete the whole batch or to delete an individual document, you would still need to update the batch. You would do this by going to Batch, Update. If you are advised that at least one document has not been printed, you can click on Yes and follow the necessary print and email prompts. Once you get to the Update screen, click on Update. The batch will be updated accordingly. Click on the magnifying glass and you should receive the message, no records found. The only time that you will still see records are if the batch is placed on hold. You can then go back to the open batches screen. 
If you use point of sale and you see the point of sale tax invoice or point of sale cash up required, this means that you will need to open your point of sale and update your point of sale documents. Please note that if you are running any version lower than version 17, you will only have the message that open point of sale batches found. This means that you will have to log into each and every user and check for either on hold or COD tax invoices and cash apps. If however you are running version 17 and above, you will be advised of exactly which user has opened tax invoices within point of sale as well as which users require a cash app. Please note that you cannot jump to the point of sale batches from within the Sage Pastel Accounting program. You would need to close the open batches screen and open your point of sale. Please ensure that you close your Sage Pastel Accounting program as you will need to update the documents after taking them off of hold or COD, as any point of sale documents that are on COD or on hold will not allow certain utilities or assistance from running. All of your point of sale documents will need to be updated. Once you have logged into your user, if you are the supervisor, you would need to go to process point of sale. Select the correct document type and click on edit. If you receive the message, no documents exist for editing, this would mean that the documents are sitting in an open batch. You would need to check your other users that advise you that you had open point of sale batches. You would open the company using their password. And again, click on edit. If there are any on hold or COD documents, the tax invoice screen will display with whichever option is selected, such as on hold or COD, and a list will display with all the on hold and COD documents. In order to open the document, you would highlight it once and click on select. The document will be opened and you will need to take it off of hold or COD, and you would need to finalize the transaction. Once you have finalized the transaction, you can then click on Next. You would then need to open your point of sale as the supervisor and update all your documents and finalize your cash app. To update all of your documents, you go to Process, Update All Documents and click on Start. If asked to set up a backup path, click on OK and select the drive and the folder that you wish to back up your point of sale before updating to. Click on OK and click on Start again. You will be asked to update all documents. Please click on Continue. This will update all the point of sale documents to your Sage Pastel Accounting program. You will receive a message, Update all documents complete. Click on OK and go to Process, Supervisor Cash App. Select each one of your users and finalize your Cash App accordingly. Once your Cash App is finalized, you can close your point of sale program. You then need to open your Sage Pastel Accounting program. Once you have opened your Sage Pastel Accounting program, again you would go to View Open Batches. Once you have updated all of your entry types, you should only be left with quotation, sales orders and possibly certain customer or supplier updatable documents that have been placed on hold. You can then try to run the utility or assistance again. If you are still receiving the message that Open Batches exist, this could indicate that you have a corrupted batch file. In this instance, you would then hold the Windows key and E on your keyboard and navigate to the company folder. Search for star dot zero. You are looking for any files called ACCBTN, ACCBTR, ACCBTP, 
ACCBSJ, ACC TGRID, ACCSJCTL with the number extension. If you find any of these files, such as ACCBTN, you would highlight this file and select Delete. You would then try to run the utility or assistant again.